Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we will be talking about the bacterial adhesion to the host cells and the different mechanisms of bacterial adhesion to the host cell. But this is uh, the flowchart for the normal bacterial pathogenicity. So let me write it here. This is the normal bacterial pathogenicity. Pathogenicity. Okay. Now in this pathogenicity what we know that uh, there are sequential five stages like entry to the host body, adhesion to the host cell, propagation of the bacteria inside the host cell, uh, release of the toxins to destroy the host cell, then uh, invading the secondary immune response or secondary response which is the immune response, right? So entry to the host cell can be accomplished via different uh, kind of entry region like mouth, uh, nasal cavity, obviously intestinal region and through, through food and water, especially the entry is via food and water, most of the cases. And the port of entry is also, the port of entry is also let's say mouth and also uh, what we can say respiration which is the nasal cavity. Okay, so these are the different way of getting the entry of this microorganisms in, inside the host body. Now, once it is entered into the host body, the second important part it need to achieve is the addition of its surface with the host cell, right? Now, in this video, we'll be emphasizing on this adhesion part, right? Now, this adhesion of this particular bacterial cell with, with our uh, inside the host body is very very important. And how it is achieved? Actually, this adhesion can be achieved via uh, three different procedure three different process so let us talk about the three process so adhesion is achieved via three different processes now the first process of adhesion so let me write here the first process of adhesion is via the fimbrillar adhesion so it is called fimbrillar adhesion Fimbrillar or fimbrial, let's say, let's say fimbrial adhesion. Now, fimbrial adhesion means the adhesion is accomplished due to the presence of fimbri or pili with the help of this pili. We know that these are the surface extension, the cell membrane uh, extension of, uh, of cyto cytoplasmic extension of bacterial cells. That means if I draw the cell now, it will be help. It will be very helpful. That let's say here, this is the bacterial cell. Now this bacterial cell is having different things coming out of it. Now these things are called pili, right? Now this pili that are coming out of different regions of the cell can be attached with the host cell surface because let, let me draw the host cell surface. Let's say this is the host cell surface. Now the host cell surface is having some other expression of different type of proteins or uh, different type of glycolipid molecules. Let, let's say here this is the glycolipid molecule it is expressing. So let's say here it is, here it is. So these are the glycolipid molecules that they are expressing. So using this glycolipid interaction via the pili, so let's say these are the pili, with the help of the pili, bacterial cell or pathogen can be attached with the host cell. So this is the first round of uh, attachment via the fimbrial adhesion. Now the second type of attachment that we can see is via the afimbrial adhesion. It is due to the attachment of different kind of cell adhesion molecules. The second kind, so let me let me talk about here. The second kind is a type of afimbrial. So the second one is afimbrial. Afimbrial adhesion. In the afimbrial adhesion, we don't require pili. We don't require pili. But what we require here, let's say here it is a bacteria again. So let me draw it again. This is the bacterial cell. Now this bacterial cell is not having pili. It can have flagella and all these things, whatever. It is not having pili, and it is also having what we can see here, the cell membrane layer outside. So cell membrane is there outside this bacteria. Now what we can see here, once we are having this uh, host cell so let's say here it is the host cell and the host cell membrane can have different regions or different adhesion molecules so here it says this is a addition addition type of molecule that are present in the host cell like that and this bacteria also secretes some other components which will colonize there this these molecules are called as the cell surface adhesion molecules so let me write it here they are called as cell surface cell surface adhesion cell surface adhesion molecules the cell surface ad adhesion molecules will aggregate their 
uh, between this bacterial cell and the host cell and will help this bacterial cell to be attached to the host cell very tightly right so this is the second way of interaction the third way of interaction in this case is via the hydrophobic interaction hydrophobic interaction now the hydrophobic interaction is telling us that if this is the bacterial cell so let, let's take this bacterial cell again now this is the bacterial cell and here says this is the cell wall here present there like that and we are also having the host cell standing there now in this case there is the interaction a uh, direct interaction of this bacteria with the host cells and the interaction is via what we know as hydrophobic so let, let us draw the hydrophobic interaction here like this so this is the hydrophobic interaction between the bacterial cell and the host cell right it is the direct kind of interaction direct interaction the amphibrial interaction is not direct because with the help of cell surface addition molecules and this interaction which is a fimbrial interaction is not also direct because it is via the pillars or fimbri right but this one is the direct one now you can see depending upon the different types of bacteria which is attacking you the mechanism of addition will vary now the bacteria which is uh, expressing pili on their surface they can use this pili for the addition the bacteria which are not having pillars they can go by the hydrophobic uh, interaction or a interaction right so that's it